you're attached to my bag again. <laughs> and I lost the Calypsi thing, so you're really attached to my bag. How are you all doing today? So I'm back in. We're back in Kyoto today. And we are at Arashiyama. Where we're gonna see temples again, here in Kyoto. And a bamboo grove. A bridge. Maybe some monkeys. I was so lucky with weather. I'm very happy because this morning I looked at the weather and I said rain. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Here we go again. But um, yeah, there's sunshine. I can see some blue sky. And uh, I think a whole bunch of people got the same idea as I did because the trains were so full coming here. Anyway, I think we're close to getting there, so let's go. Welcome to Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. I've tried racing here, but as you can see, there's a bunch of people. A lot. So I suggest coming here really early. That's what I tried to do, but all the trains are delayed or suspended due to the typhoon, so even though I think it's before 10 a.m. right now, it's still... It is what it is. So I'm not sure how this works. This is the entrance and you get it deeper. Um, but yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna wait and see what happens. Seriously, starting to get all my temple names mixed up more than usual, but I believe this is called this one is named Ten Tenryuji Temple. And right now, I'm touring the gardens, paid my entry fee, and I was hoping to see more of the bamboo grove area by entering here. And I'm seeing a little part of it over there. So let's go check it out. down, then across, then over. Um, forgot to warn you guys, and I actually forgot myself, but when schools are around, they are usually given a leaflet of work to do while they're here, and some of the questions they need to ask to a English speaker. So you could be targeted by a bunch of young students. And, um, it's an interesting experience, especially since uh, they're learning English, so you kind of have to guess what they're asking. And what you apply needs to be very basic. Basically. <laughs> also, I also just ran into a woman from Washington asking for like what's up there and stuff. To know if it was worth like climbing up the steps. And when I asked if she was enjoying her visit to Japan so far, she said, like, Oh, I'd like to stay here until Trump disappears. Jeez. I guess it's bad, huh? I don't even try to follow anymore, it's just too depressing. So, yeah. Made me laugh. I'm at the exit. I don't know where I want to go yet. Because I think the bamboo grows continues, like, for a good while, so... Yeah. Let's go. This is 
the most famous part. I think everyone has a photo from this angle. So do I. Part of the bench. <laughs> this just made me look like intensely tired today. I can't tell. <laughs> it might just be the lighting. Oh, it's a little climb. It's a little steep up here. But it certainly is beautiful. You can't really capture it on film or in photo, that's for sure. I had some taiyaki. I tried some different flavors, but actually the quality of them were kind of... I bit into one and it was actually raw inside, which is not good. It wasn't even hot, so... The best one I had so far was one I got around... Um, as I was saying, the best uh, taiyaki I had was around uh, Asakusa in Tokyo, and it, I chose a pumpkin flavor. I wish I would have come went back and tried different flavors because they had a bunch and so far I've had so the sweet pumpkin one was really nice I've had custard which was kind of like which was kind of ordinary I've had the matcha one um, but the quality wasn't good it was at the same place I got like matcha and uh, and the uh, traditional azuki bean one but it just wasn't it wasn't any good okay there's a lot of people here because there's the the entrance to Tenryu Temple right here. Jesus. Um, so, so far, I visited the gardens of Tenryu Tenryuji. I visited the part of the bamboo grove, which is really pretty. The whole area is gorgeous and really pretty, but it's way too. Good. Way too touristic, like too much. And I know I'm contributing. I'm a tourist myself. I'm taking photos. I'm eating touristy, low-grade street food. Um, but this is too much for me. And if you're someone who enjoys being off the beaten path, this probably isn't for you. But it is pretty. Don't get me wrong. Bamboo grove was really pretty, but everyone was stopping every couple of meters. Not even meters, like not even taking a picture. And it's just hard to appreciate it. And it's still morning. It's still morning. Um, it's on a weekday. And this is uh, still kind of off season. So, yeah. Ooh. Can't imagine what it's like when it's super busy because for me this is already too much so now I'm going to stop complaining <laughs> that's not what, I, not what I'm trying to say uh, I'm gonna go on that the bridge I think it's called Dogetsu, Dogetsu bridge I'm not sure this is not as easy as it looks <laughs> trying to vlog and walk in this crowd of people while having my camera attached to my back there we go Okay. I'm gonna cross the bridge because it wasn't my thing to do for some reason, apparently. Probably for the view, because what the view I have in front of me is starting to look pretty nice. And then I'm gonna go to the monkey park. And I'll see if I stay at Ashiyama or move on to another very touristic area, which is Kinkakuji Temple. Which is still on my list, but I know it's gonna be like hell to go. So, okay, it's getting really hard to pass around here. It's lunchtime, so almost lunchtime. Oh my goodness. Yes, definitely worth coming here. Let me show you.
<laughs> well, I guess it looks pretty. Damn it. <sighs> no luck today. Damn it, guys. I really wanted to see the monkey. Stupid tycoon. All the monkeys are okay. Probably are. I mean, let's turn back. Well, you got this nice view of the bridge here. I don't know why I bought this. It looked interesting and I was curious. That's usually how it happens. This is pickled cucumber, reverberated in lemon. Um, mm, it's not bad, it's just weird. Like, why would you want a pickled cucumber on a stick? I don't know. At least I tried it. Very touristy spot. Behind me, you can see Gengakuji, which is a golden leaf covered temple. I don't even think you can access it, it's just like see like this. And as you can see, it's absolutely crazy here. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not sure there's anything else to see. I just, you know, you enter, you see this, I think you go around it, and that might be actually it. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna go check it out before another crowd comes. Escape, escape, escape. Look, that, all these people, oh yeah, you can actually, you can't actually see it for that thing, that golden thing, when there's a kind of a beautiful garden here. Yeah. <laughs> you know that song? Is that all there is? That's what I have in my head. I know it's like a uh, must-see, but it's just a little temple covered in gold. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to diss or anything, but I think you go see because you have to go see it. But you know, if I had to come to Kyoto at the like time with a friend, I'd be like, yeah, I know you kind of want to see it, but I suggest going to this place or that place. So you just go around to the temple, and then there's a little bit of garden with waterfalls and stuff, but it's not like, I've seen a lot of gardens right now, you know. It's okay. Luckily, <laughs> the admission be like 400 yen, which is fine, but this, not really worth it. Sorry. Sorry, Japan. Your golden temple is very nice, but I'm definitely not worth the crowd. And yeah. <laughs> At this point I gave up on filming because I was really frustrated and the audio from my camera stopped working for some reason so I'm gonna narrate this from now on. Here is Nishiki Market, much calmer, much quieter, yeah I know, believe me, it was calmer there. Here's a little temple that I found in Nishiki Market, here's a statue of a cow, if you touch it you get good health, so that's what I did. I think you get good health for you but also other people, so definitely touching that cow. Yes. Here's a little street, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, but I say it later. And there were, there's a mixture of modern and traditional, which was really cool. So that's all I have for you. Back to you, Len. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so not far from Nishiki Market. I don't know which turn I took. I just was walking and I found myself in this little... Um, closed marketplace parallel to another but this one has a very different vibe there's like a mix of very traditional stores and then modern stores I just walked past, just walked 
I don't know if you can hear me over the sound. It's a she just said, it's a Teramachi. So I just walked past uh, some really like traditional looking shops with uh, rosaries and uh, vintage book prints and stuff. And then you walk past a Gacha shop and then a label shop and then uh, here is a label, looks like a label shop anyway, really cute. <laughs> I'm gonna go in there because it looks really really cute. There we have the an Ananimate Cafe, uh, over there there's a tailor house, I saw like really traditional looking uh, kimonos and fabrics, and over there there's a shop that I just love called Psycho Bunny, I mean it's a clothes shop so there's nothing really there for me but just the name is really cute. I'm sorry, I'm speaking from the nose. I my cold has gotten worse all of a sudden again, unfortunately. Okay, so it's from Nishiki Market. It's somewhere around. There's loads of galleries, and I just walked in a circle, I think, and I found myself here for some reason on my way back to Kyoto Station. And I'm really happy I found it. It's away from the crowd and uh, the bustling, and yeah, really cool place. So I'm gonna go check out the labels because they look really funny and funky and cute. So yeah, I gotta stop spending, but I mean, I wanna see. <laughs> I keep making the same mistake. Look at me, I'm blushing. I keep walking into stores that look like anime stores. And then I realized the only customers there are men. And a lot of boots and weird outfits and a lot of sex toys staring at me. So I'm like, yeah, I need to get out of here. <laughs> Actually, it's not that I'm a prude or anything. It's just that I feel like my presence might make them uncomfortable because literally only men and I just walk in and I'm like, hmm, what is this? And yeah, I need to head off to the station now. Where is that? Let's go. And we all know people.